हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग आई एम प्रोफेसर अल्पेश दाफड़ा एंड इन दिस थर्टी फिफ्थ वीडियो क्लास ऑफ डी आई पी वी विल स्टडी इमेज कॉम्प्रेशन फंडामेंटल्स इन डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग स्टार्टिंग विद नेम वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉम्प्रेशन कॉम्प्रेशन मीन्स रिडक्शन इन साइज इन बाइट्स ऑफ एन इमेज फाइल विदाउट डिग्रेडिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ द इमेज टू एन अनएक्सेप्टेबल लेवल एंड वाई डू वी डू इमेज कॉम्प्रेशन वी डू इमेज कॉम्प्रेशन एज इट अलाउस मोर इमेजेस टू बी स्टोर्ड इन अ गिवन अमाउंट ऑफ मेमोरी स्पेस एंड ऑल्सो टू अलाउ मोर फाइल्स टू ट्रांसफर थ्रू इंटरनेट यूजिंग लेस बैंडविट एंड लेस टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल द इमेजेस दैट वी सेंड थ्रू व्हाट्सएप आर कॉम्प्रेस बिफोर sending so let us start what is image compression image compression is the art and science of reducing the amount of data required to represent an image it is one of the most useful and commercially successful technology in the field of digital image processing the number of images that are compressed and decompressed daily is staggering and the compressions and decompressions themselves are virtually invisible to the user anyone who uses a smartphone who has a digital camera who surfs the internet or watches videos benefits from image compression algorithms and standards for example the amount of data required to represent a 2 hour standard definition movie using a 720 cross 480 cross 24 bits pixels arrays is 224 gigabyte of data see because video players must display the frame rates subsequently at the rates near 30 frames per second standard definition digital video data is thirty frames per second into seven twenty into four eighty pixels per frame into three bytes per pixel twenty four bits which is equal to three bytes right which is equal to three double one zero four triple zero bytes per second and a two hour movie consists of three double one zero four triple zero bytes per second into two hours into sixty minutes into sixty seconds. Which is equal to 2.24 into 10 raised to 11 bytes, which comes out to be 224 gigabyte of data. So this is very huge data, and therefore compression is necessary. Even the web page images and high resolution digital camera photos also are compressed routinely to save storage space and reduce transmission time. Now, what is data compression? The term data compression. refers to the process of reducing the amount of data required to represent a given quantity of information representations may contain irrelevant or repeated information which is considered as redundant data compression is a technique which increases efficiency by removing redundancy from representations and hence representations without redundancy cannot be compressed there are two types of compression lossless compression and lossy compression as the name suggest lossless compression techniques do not lose any significant aspect of original representation lossy compression on the other hand loses part of original in a controlled way examples of lossless compression includes run length encoding huffman coding lzw coding etc while examples of lossy compression includes jpeg which is used for image compression mpeg which is used for video compression mp3 which is used for audio compression etc our eyes cannot distinguish subtle changes so lossy data is acceptable decompression is the reverse process where the redundant parts are put back into the representation to restore it to its initial form let b and b dash denote the number of bits in two representations of the same information where b is the uncompressed data and b dash is the compressed data then the relative data redundancy r is given by r equal to 1 minus 1 upon cr where cr is the compression ratio defined by cr is equal to b by b dash so if b is equal to b dash cr will be equal to 1 and r will be equal to 0 which shows that there is no data redundancy or no repetitive data if b is much much greater than b dash then cr is much much greater than 1 and r is approximately equal to 1 or r is equal to 100% which shows that the data is highly redundant if cr compression ratio is equal to 10 or 10 is to 1 means that larger representation or b is equal to 10 bits and 
B dash is equal to 1 bit. So R will be equal to 1 minus 1 upon 10 or 0 0.1 which means R is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.9 indicating that 90% of its data is redundant or 90% redundancy. The principal types of data redundancies are coding redundancy, spatial and temporal redundancy and irrelevant information. As the name suggests for coding redundancy, there can be repetitive codes that can be used for compression. For spatial redundancy, repetitive information is present in the image plane itself and for temporal redundancy, the repetitive information is present with time. And for irrelevant information, irrelevant repetitive information is present which can be compressed. Let us understand coding redundancy. A code is a system of symbols that is letters, numbers or bits used to represent a body of information or set of events. Here each piece of information or event is assigned a sequence of code symbols called a code word. The number of symbols in each code word is its length. For spatial redundancy, pixels of most 2D intensity arrays are correlated spatially. That is each pixel is similar to or dependent on the neighboring pixels. And the information is unnecessarily replicated in the representations of the correlated pixels which can be removed. For irrelevant information, most 2D intensity arrays contain information that is ignored by human visual system and extraneous to the intended use of the image and it is redundant in the sense that it is not used. This figure shows coding redundancy where the repetitive codes of information can be removed. This figure shows spatial redundancy and you can see that the pixels are repetitive along the horizontal line which can be compressed and this figure shows irrelevant information that is repeated along the whole image. So removing these data redundancies, image compression can be accomplished. So that is all for this video class. Thank you very much.